Good evening and welcome to tonight's broadcast of High School Girls Soccer by NSDV on the Norse Girls Soccer YouTube channel. I'm Blake Macklin and I'm joined by John Paul Brewer and tonight we have the Elkhorn Antlers visiting the beautiful campus of Norse School District to take on the Norse Titans. First off the away team, the Elkhorn Antlers and I believe the four seed in the EMC uh, tournament. Elkhorn comes in the game with a 9-3 record and they knocked off the one seed uh, Blair Bears to reach this EMC championship. The Antlers are coached by Daniel Anderson and assisted by Aaron McKenzie. The home team, the Norse Titans, I believe are the two seed in this matchup. Norris comes in this game with an eight and one record and they defeated Hastings and Bennington to reach this, uh, this final. The Titans are coached by Arnold Tolero and assisted by Samantha Ehrman. We'll be back with the starters for tonight's game after a short break here on the Girls North Soccer YouTube channel. gentlemen, on behalf of Norse Public Schools, welcome to Titan Stadium and tonight's Eastern Midlands Conference Championship match between the visitors from Elkhorn High School and your Norse Titans. We at Norris and the Eastern Midlands Conference highly value the concepts of sportsmanship as part of our educational environment. We ask that you act with respect towards the opponents and efforts of all coaches, athletes, and officials. Sportsmanship is everyone's responsibility. Following the conclusion of tonight's match, parents and supporters for both teams, you are welcome to come down to the field to participate in the award ceremony at the respective ends of the field. We will have a chance for parents to participate in photographs and celebration of both teams on the respective ends. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise for our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets 
Red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave and now the starting lineups first for the visitors from Elkhorn High School. Number one, a sophomore, Ella Rogers. Number eight, a freshman, Presley Fucre. Number six, a senior, Emily Frame. Number eight, a senior, Mara Love. Number nine, a junior, Olivia Bailey. Number 10, a senior, Claire Neusmer. Number 11, a freshman, Lulu Larry. Number 12, a sophomore, Leah Najakai Titus. Number 13, a freshman, Molly Flynn. Number 21, a junior, Reagan Shard. Number 22, a sophomore, Olivia Thompson. And number 26, a junior, Adriana Pagan. The Antlers are coached by Danielle Anderson, assisted by Aaron McKenzie and Haley Fetters. And now, the starting lineup for your Norris Titans. Number one, a senior, Kennedy Sullivan. Number two, a sophomore, Ali Kohler. Number three, a freshman, Taya Tweeton. Number four, a sophomore, Rosalind Madsen. Number five, a freshman, Ansley Cohn. Number seven, a senior, Carly Wallstrom. Number 10, a junior, Ella Klein. Number 12, a senior, Nicole Keetle. Number 20, a senior, Claire Macklin. Number 34, a senior, Grace Kohler. And in the goal, a sophomore, number 78, Izzy Tidball. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's play EMC Conference Championship Soccer. The weather forecast tonight is sunny, little wind, 65 degrees, and beautiful. The officials for tonight's match, Michael Barton, Spomenko Elikpet, and Wayne Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, the concession stand is open. They have Chick-fil-A sandwiches, and there is a Kona ice truck out by the front gate. Again, welcome back here to 
the Norris Girls Soccer YouTube channel. Get excited for some EMC Championship Soccer matchup here between the Titans and the Antlers. Some familiar foes. They've played already once this year, a couple weeks ago. Uh, John Paul, you can tell us about that throughout this game. Yeah, the Titans and the Antlers faced off on uh, March 28th, and the Titans took that one 2 0, but it was a close game. And the Antlers came into the EMC tournament as the four seed. Yep. Making some good upsets. Upset the Blair Bears, who were undefeated, and made it to the championship. So here they are, facing off again against the Titans, who are 8 and 1, with their one loss being to the Class A highest Thunderbolts. Yes. So, so two great teams here. Yeah. Should be good some good soccer. Some runs on both sides. Dangerous. Ooh. Oh. That's in the back, and that'll be a foul early on. Physical. Some physical ball. Ansley Cohn is down for the Titans after a hard foul. And they'll bring the trainers out. We hope she's okay. That was some physical soccer right there. Wow. Yeah, Antler's setting the tone early. Just hope she's all right. Hope the best for her. Glad to see Ensley Khan walking up off the field there. Definitely a tough play, physical contact. Yeah, Antlers uh, setting the tone early. They came to play physical. And Definitely uh, did so, for sure. So it'll be a free kick for the Titans here. Yep. Grace Kohler. Yeah, while well, we were talking about their previous matchup, Norris made a quick little uh, run out of the gate um, up the field, and then Antlers kind of had a little bit of a counterattack. And that's what led up to that foul play there. Only about a minute into this game. Kohler will let that one run out for a throw in. Yep, and as the sun's starting to set, it should be a lot easier for us to read some numbers. So we're definitely grateful for the later start. Here's Ella Klein. And Greenfield tries to clear it. Antlers keeping the pressure on. As Claire Macklin clears it, and it'll be a throw in for the Antlers. Say, the Antlers are doing an excellent job just getting out, pushing the tempo, and keeping pressure on the Titans. Get yeah, pressure the, early. Getting the Titans back on their half of the field. Not letting Titans settle in at all. Right. Yeah, Norris isn't used to playing too much defense. And Max plays it up to Nicole Keetle, who 
he plays it out to Rosalind Madison, Madison on the wing. She'll send it back to Blair. Finds Ella. And missed touch there. And they'll clear it out for a throw in for the Titans. There's a smart play there. Nice little uh, sequence of passing there. Nice little run by the Titans. Klein looks across it in. Gets into the box. And it's cleared out. Antlers maintain possession here. They work it up the field. And that one will go out of bounds. Just, out, throw it in. just outside the reach of Lauren Budecki for ant for the Antlers. Another throw. Plays it to Macklin. Middle of the field looks really open right now. Oh, for sure. Which is good for us. Nice little move there. I can't tell who that is quite. Ella Klein. Ella Klein. Some nice footwork there. Off the head. And into the oop. Into the dive. hands of uh, Mara Love, the Antlers goalkeeper. A junior for the Antlers. So players to watch tonight on both sides. On the Titans side, of course, you have Kennedy Sullivan, who looks like a center forward tonight. 11 goals, 4 assists so far in the year. I believe last year she was Super State captain. She's a great player. Yes, excellent um, player. And then Rosalind Madsen on the right wing, number four. She's a sophomore, but she's really stepped up this year, already contributing six goals and two assists. Oh, wow. And on the Antler side, their leading goal scorer is number nine, Olivia Bailey, with 11 goals, six assists. And accompanied by Madeline Flynn, number five, I believe, who has nine goals and four assists. So both teams really with two major goal scorers and a few supporters. But yeah, we'll be excited to see who gets one in the back of the net tonight. Yeah, I mean, two teams with, you know, really solid players and great players that have great roles, whether it's I don't know the soccer terms, but offense or defense, you can help me out there. Uh, you know, just excellent skill players on both sides. That's what it takes to get to a conference championship. Both teams have displayed that, and here we are tonight. Beautiful night, beautiful weather. Sun's just about to go down. Should be some nice soccer. Charlie Wallstrom plays it up the field to Keedle. Already noticing some big differences between this game and the boys' game earlier. Just a lot more possession going on. The boys game was really back and forth, and this is just, both teams look pretty comfortable here, settled in, playing with possession. Yeah, I was unable to watch that boys game, but I believe it was 4-2 uh, to two in the favor of the Badgers. Um, the looked Badgers like a... took down the Wolves of Elkhorn North. Yep. Take the EMC crown for the third year in a row. Yeah, it looked like a physical, hard-fought game from what I saw. We'll see if the Titans, this will be the Titans' fourth EMC championship appearance in a row. I believe they won it the last three times, so they'll be looking for a four-peat. What a run there. That ball just stayed in. Good clear there from Carly Walson. Plays it up the nice field. Nice ball. Kennedy Sullivan, he, she's driving here. Nicole Keto getting in the box. Kennedy takes a shot. It's in. Goal. Kennedy Sullivan makes it 1 0. Goal. What a shot there. Seven minutes in. And Kennedy Sullivan puts one in the back of the net. She's one of the best players in the state. What an absolute and dish she came to play tonight. from Carly Wallstrom to start that run. Yeah, Carly Wallstrom played it from, I think, the 30-yard line. It might have been half. further back, I'd be honest. And just launched it up, and Kennedy was ready for it. Just took some touches, and 
just a great finish into the bottom corner of the net. Not much that Love could do about it. And it's 1-0 early on. And it's huge for these Titans to get out to a nice 1-0 lead to start the game. A lot of games that I've seen from them, they usually take a little bit longer to score. Yeah, um, they've been a little slower this year on the uh, goal-scoring side. Previous years, they've really just had a lot of had a lot of contributors and just haven't really been finding the back of the net as much this year. I mean, they still get great looks, just not quite converting. Um, and I believe the last time these two teams met, I think it was close, 0-0 zero, zero until about maybe 15 minutes left in the game, and the Titans kind of pulled away and scored two quick goals. So definitely good on the Titans to get out here quick and keep the pressure on. Here's Macklin stealing the ball. She's got it back here. She'll bring one into Keetle. Rosalind Madison, great ball there to Macklin. She'll be in the corner. Nice find there. Cross. A little bit of footwork working it in. Good cross, and that'll be Ooh, keeps still it. up. Keeps it in. Madsen loses it there. Looks like the Antlers are going to get it back up to Hudeki, I believe, 13. This one will go back to Izzy Tidball. She'll pick it up and roll it short to Addison Greenfield. The Titans play this three back. Wow. Looks like both teams actually play a three back. Ah, never mind. Just the <laughs> Titans. The Titans play this three back because they're so confident in their center back, Grace Kohler, four year starter. She's committed to. Help me, Blake. It's. I believe it's somewhere in Missouri. Missouri I Tech. Good school. Yes. She's a great player. Great, great club accomplishments. Yep. So they're able to, Titans are able to play this three back with uh, Grace Kohler really just holding down the back line. Yes. And they've got Addison Greenfield playing on the right. And I believe Wallstrom. Is that Wallstrom on the left? I no. I think it's her sister. It's not. It's Grace's sister, Allie Kohler. Oh, it might be. So the, the two Kohlers holding it down for the Titans in the back line. Antlers here on the defensive as Norris keeps some heavy pressure. And so that three back allows for the Titans to play with two center strikers, which are Nicole Keetel and Kennedy Sullivan, and then Ella Klein on the left wing and Rosalind Madison Madsen on the right wing. So a really good front four for the Titans. Score most of the goals. Looks oh. like we got a corner kick here. First one of the night for the Titans. Macklin I also believe, I do notice this, Macklin does like to take the corner kicks from the left side where she can use her right foot. And Grace Kohler takes the other ones. Oh, off of the goalpost, I believe. Another player to watch is Ella Klein for the Titans, who is on the left wing. Really good player. She's had a little bit of a slower start to her season only with one goal and four assists, but don't count her out. She can score goals. Titans look into, I believe that's Wallstrom. Tidball with time. And this one will go out for Titans throwing. Madsen plays it up to Kenny Sullivan lose it. Oh, Look, good move here. For looking for a run. Antlers. Can they get numbers in the box? Good cross there. Is anyone there? Not that time. Good look there, though, from the Antlers. Yeah, for sure. Just need to get more players up the field. They want to equalize here. First uh, close goal action there from the Antlers for the night. Yeah, first real look. Yep. Just looks like they need to get some more numbers in the box. Got the ball here, driving in the... Yeah, still working the pressure. Oh, Ooh, and she'll slip, and oh. that'll be a corner kick. Looks like that one might have hurt. She's all good, though. And yeah, John Paul, I'm glad you're doing this because I do not know a lot of these soccer terms, so I'm glad you're able to help me out here. Yeah, no problem, Blake. As the Antlers get their first 
corner kick of the night. First corner. Oh, good ball. Can't get ahead on it. She'll be able to put it back in Unable. and sliced out. Unable to keep it in. Goal kick for the Titans. And John Paul's got this pulled up as we're looking right now. It looks like Class B rankings. Uh, Greta East, currently the one seed. Norse, two. Looks like Elkhorn is nine and three as a six seed in PowerPoint rankings right now. Yeah, so Gretna East, new school this year. And what they did, if you weren't aware, is they drew the district lines and anyone on the Gretna East side of the district had to move to that new school. So a lot of the Gretna varsity girls soccer players got moved to that school. And Gretna won Class A state last year by a mile. I believe it was like seven to two. So Gretna East, new school, but Looks they like might, a, they're looking to make their name known in their first year for sure. Yeah, as Wallstrom is thrown in for the Titans. Looks like we're getting some substitutions. Madsen will be going out for the Titans about 13 minutes down into this first half. It looks like uh, Kaylee Miller will be coming in, I believe, for the Titans. A senior forward, is that right? Yeah, she'll be at center forward. Center here. forward. Looks like Kennedy Sullivan will move to right wing. To Nifty play there from Budekis, I believe. Wallstrom fighting for the ball. Well, Macklin can't get a touch there. Yeah, it looks like the Antlers really like to get it to the left side of the field here. Good steal by Kennedy Sullivan, and Claire Macklin looks to create a chance. Plays over to Ella Klein in the left wing, and she'll have room to run. She'll take it all the way down the line. Still Cuts going. In. Looks for a shot. Just a, a bit wide. Yeah, look, got under it a little bit. Good drive, though, from Klein. Can't be too bad about taking a shot, trying to get something to go. Goal kick for the Antlers. Sullivan will have it here. Good pass over to, I believe that's Dana Kapke. No, oh, Haley McMurray. It's in the box here. That'll go out for a throw. Throw in. Looks like Sullivan will take this throw in here. She'll play it to Claire. It's giving go action. Looking for a cross. And Mara Love picks that one up. Excellent job there from the goalie. Nice little scoop. Taking her time before she boots it. Titans have been given quite a bit of space here, just from what I've noticed in center field. Macklin and a couple other centers, uh, center fielders have been able to use that space and get the ball out. Yeah, lots of room here. As Sullivan's Front unable to the midfield. corral that one. Be thrown for the Antlers. Nice little Green boot there. Send it up. And Klein's got it. Tries to play a ball through. No one's there. So Mara Love will pick this one up. And yeah. Good touch there from Claire Macklin. Uh, unable to connect there. Some physical ball there. This is Olivia Bailey for the Antlers. What number is that? Number nine. Number taking nine. it down the field. Quick, quick little. Oh, good footwork here. Wow. She might get a shot. No. Nice little try. Yeah, good footwork there. Yeah. Looking to create a chance. But that will go out for a goal kick. Yeah, as long as the Antlers can keep getting some runs going, stay in it, they can give themselves a good chance to come back. Only one goal, nothing too major to worry about. You've got 60 minutes plus to get this one back. We're 
We're gonna work in the start far side of the field. Can't see a number there. Good move there. Got the Titans on the defensive here. Unable to connect the pass as Tidball will scoop up the ball. Roll it over to Greenfield. I really like the way the Titans set up when they play out of the back. So they've got their three basically center backs, and then they've got four in a line with the two defensive midfielders, and then the wings come back to help. Then you've got Claire Macklin playing attacking mid, and then the two central strikers. Gives a lot of room, a lot of options for them to play out of the back. And that's just a good coaching job from Arnold Tolero. Good positional discipline by the Titans. They keep the width of the pitch. Keeps everything open. I mean, look at Kennedy Sullivan. She's all the way on the touchline. Using the whole pitch to their advantage. This one's stolen here. She might get a shot off. This is O'Brien or Bailey. Oh, physical ball there. Trying to get a cross in. She will. Handlers with a chance here. Still got it. Kohler's there. And it'll be cleared. But, yeah, Antlers are, they're looking here. Yes, they're staying aggressive. Trying to get numbers up. They're keeping the pushes go pushing going. And she'll play it back. look to reset it here before they send it up to. Can't see quite Sullivan. Yeah, Sullivan. Sullivan able to get it. to Kaylee Miller. Looking for something. Plays it to Kennedy on the right wing. Tries to play it down the line, and that will be out for a throw-in. Looks like that might have been number 12 uh, on the able to get that one out of bounds, kind of stop the run there. So Tessa Tolero comes on for Carly Wallstrom, and she'll be in the attacking mid position. Claire Macklin will move back to the other center defensive mid position. Here's Haley oh. McMurray getting dragged around. She wins it. And missed pass there. Here's Tessa. Nice little work there. Ooh, oh, good nice move bird by, work. Good move by Tessa. Plays the Kaylee Miller. That'll be cleared by the Antlers. So looking at this roster sheet, I mean, you just see so much depth on the uh, Norris Titans side. Just, I mean, they've got so many players, a lot of options. A lot of subs. Yep. Gives them a great advantage. If anyone gets tired, they can just get a sub. Yeah, for another sure. Another great player in. And uh, Tolero, Coach Tolero, he likes to rotate all the players. <laughs> he likes to rotate all the players around. Give everyone a chance to play. Ooh. How's that up. one just... That's our second doink of the night off the goal post. Second doink. Don't see that too often here at Titan Stadium. Don't see that too often in football games, to say the least. Nope. They usually go through. Yes. At least when I played. You would know, yes. Looks like they'll get to Macklin here. Send it back. Possession here from the Titans. Making and a run. Nicole Keat will drive up the field. Sends one down the line. Ooh, this nice. could be a good ball. Stay in bounds here. Get there. Oh, Unable to. Bounds. Yeah, I mentioned earlier during the boys game, the Titans field, the turf is just, it's pretty old. So it's really worn down, very flat compared yeah. to uh, the newer fields like uh, Blair and Waverly where it's uh, more like artificial grass. So yes. the ball here, it really, it just rolls really yes. quickly. So every ball you play, has to be weighted very perfectly. It's it's difficult to do. So you see a lot of balls just skid across the across the turf, and go yep. out. Ainsley like Cone back in. So yep, she's back. See. Yep. Yeah, she took the tough hit earlier in the game. So great to see her back. Glad she's okay. Um, Claire Macklin. 
and she, uh, Ansley Cone, uh, Con, only a freshman, she has been a huge part of this uh, Titan uh, defensive backside. Um, oh, great ball wow. here for Kennedy Sullivan. Can she get there? If she does, and that is going to be a second goal. What a ball that was. Wow. That was awesome. I mean, I don't know who kicked that one, but let's see the replay here. That was the that was the left back Grace Kohler. She is so good. And Kennedy makes the run, gets there, wow. and just one touches it into the back of the net. What a ball from Grace Kohler. She sliced that from the 50 yard line all the way across the field. Right into the path of Kennedy. And she was just wow. able to just take one touch and Mara Love couldn't get there. That was money. Grace Kohler. What an assist that was. And to get Sullivan, her second goal of the day. I don't know if you have tallies on her goal total for the year. You probably do That'll somewhere. Be 13 now. 13 on the year. That's incredible. Some more scrappy action here. Macklin will go out to, looks like Madsen on the right side, near side of the field. Pitch. So that'll move Kennedy into tied for fourth place in the state on goals this season. She usually leads the state. Looks like the leading scorer in Class B is Sonora Daffini from Gretna East with 21 goals on the year. Gretna East, got to watch out for him. That's an absurd amount of goals, 21. Nice throw there from Tidball, getting it out to Madsen. Antlers win it back. Getting it back to Madsen, wins it back for the Titans. That'll be us throwing. Throw Looks like we're going to get some subs in. Can't quite see who that is. Macklin will get a rest as Dana Kapke comes in. Yep. In the midfield the senior. The senior. Kohler throws it in. The Antlers win this one. Tessa Tolero's there, good move. Plays it back to Grace Kohler. Over to Cone. Unable to connect it, but get it back to Matson on the near side. She'll send it to the middle, where it's intercepted no by Rogers. It looks like that might be Olivia Bailey, I believe, number two on the far side of the field. Can't quite see from here. Might need to get some binoculars. Bailey sends it across the box. Testing the Titans' defense. That'll be out for a throw for the Antlers. Looks like that would have been Madsen, maybe. Getting that one out of bounds. Rosalind Madsen. Able to save it, uh, avoid the corner kick. Looks like that one will just go out of bounds. Yeah, good defense there from the Titans. 15.30 to go here in the first half. Um, it's been some solid action both sides. Both teams looking to score. Uh, Antlers have had some good looks. Just unable to connect. Klein making a run down the line here. Contessa Finder. Looks Klein like wants it. Tolero had uh, somebody running on the back side of the pitch. Can't quite see who that was. Had some space. And Cohen will clear Nice it. ball there. Ooh. Off of Miller's head. That'll be a, in the hands of Mara Love. Nice He'll little, send it up the field. Nice little pump there. And out of bounds for the Titans throw. Over by the Antlers bench, we'll be throwing in. Looks like can't quite see who's, uh, who took a took a break there as the action resumes. Antlers got some space in the middle here, looking to make a push. Twenty six, uh, Hagen, I believe. A lot 
lot of time. Not a lot of pressure here from the antlers. Oh, but missed pass there, but it's one back. Nice little look there from Kohler up to Calero in the midfield, looking for a run. Intercepted there by. Gotta gotta see a number there. Can't see a number. That's sends it into Kaylee Miller. It's out for a throw. Rogers gets that one out of bounds. Looks like we're going to sub here. Um, Kenny Solon will come back in for Kelly Miller. Sullivan got her well deserved rest. Looking to finish this half strong here. Already two goals on the night. Yep, so as we have. Back in on the center forward position. Yep. Working in the corner here are the Titans. Scooped up by Love, the goalie. And as this game moves along, not too much wind tonight. The no beautiful night. The flag is sitting down, absolutely no movement on it. Um, so absolutely no factor at all with the wind. About the most perfect night you could ask for for some high school soccer. Yeah, complete polar opposite from yesterday. Yeah. I mean, that was terrible. Yep. Like track meet over in Syracuse. Yes, the Norse Titans did make the arduous journey down to Syracuse High School for a track meet. I tell you what, finishing a 400 into that wind, not a good time. Yeah. I think 400s in general are just not fun, but right and 30 mile an hour winds don't make it pleasant. Right in your face. Yep, I'm glad the Titans got a nice, beautiful night. Yep. Both teams, just beautiful weather here. Can't ask for much more. Friday night, EMC Championship Soccer. Two excellent programs here, just battling it out. As Macklin will be subbing back in, I believe. Yeah, 11:40 here left in the first half. Looking for a crosser to Madsen. She'll take some space in the middle. She's got Kenny Sullivan out wide. Yep. She'll go down the line. Might look for a crosser here or something. Good pass to Claire. She wants to play it in. Nobody there. Nice little scrappy action here. Elkhorn trying to get something going. Rogers looking to gain control of the ball back. Unable to do so. The Antlers will play it out, reset back on defense as the Titans are making a push. Nice little run here down the sideline. Nice move. Into the box. Now will be out for a throw. Claire Macklin with it. She'll play it back to Ainsley Cohn. Just look how deep the Titans are in the uh, Antlers territory. They got all their players around the 50 yeah. or further. Yeah, for sure. Just keeping the pressure on. And that can be wearing on just about any team. You know, just always just in the middle. constant pressure. She's got Nicole Keto wide open on the left wing. She can find her. Hard to, easy to see from the box up here, but... Carly wins it. Set That's it back Ainsley. to Ainsley. Yep. She's looking for Keetel. Con Left looking wing. at the far side. The antlers intercept. Couple headers. Oop, might have been natural position. Yep, that's fair. Madsen cutting inside. Looks for, tries to find Keetel, but it's not there. Getting it out to the Antlers are up here with Hagen, it looks like. Pag Pagan. Don't know pronunciation. As Tidball rolled up. Um, 
I will say the officiating this game has been excellent. Uh, yeah, not many fouls. No, it's been a clean game uh, both sides, other than that one early on. Yep. Um, definitely a clean match for the most part. Nothing too crazy. I'm sure that will change as the match progresses and the intensity wears on as a little urgency will do so naturally. Just down under nine minutes here in the first half. Free kick here for the Titans. Looks like Kohler. Yeah, Kohler on these set pieces. She's dangerous. Yep. Titans always utilizing Kohler. Excellent leg. Get someone in. Good ball. What a... I mean, she's just so dangerous. Yeah. Team's got to watch out for that. Nice save there by Love. Yeah, anytime you got Grace Kohler standing over a free kick, uh, you better be ready. Yep. And Mara Love was that time. Yep, she was excellent there. Nice job, fundamental goalkeeping right there. I don't see a number nine on this roster anywhere. I believe that's Bailey. Bailey? Olivia Bailey. All right. I might need to make a note of that. We'll do that. She works it around the Titans' defense. Good possession here by the Antlers. Look at that. Nice little run there by Pagan. Trying to get players up. Something going. Still going. Slices Nobody was across. Nobody's backside to and the receive that. And will try to shield it out. Now that backside attacker for the Antlers looks to be a fairly physical, uh, aggressive player. Still in the box. Can't see a number there. But she is... She has been working hard over on that side of the field. Uh, very physical. Here's Bailey again. She'll let the one run out for throwing. Yep. Find the open 11, Good I believe. Good steal by Madsen. Meehan. Titans looking to counterattack here. Yep. And there is... Wheaton, the freshman. I believe it's pronounced Taya. Taya, my bad. Uh, that's all right. Sullivan will get it here in the middle. Yeah, Taya Tweeten, freshman. She has three goals this year. Yep, Makes she's an a she's a solid player here for the Titans. Uh, one of the two freshmen that have been contributing. As Tidball is able to get that one out, nice play there from her. Yeah, good coming off the line. Yep. Oh, a little bit more uh, back and forth action here to close out this first half. Yep. Macklin plays it over Madsen. Macklin's running down the sideline. Looking She's to get some options. Nice little nifty move there. Options in the midfield. Able to get there to tweet in, it looks like. Nice Probably little Wallstrom. settle there, get it to the far side Over of the field. Keel. Tries to take a touch forward, but the uh, Elkhorn defender is there. That'll be a throw in after the subs. A little bit more sub action here for both teams. Looks like all of lost her subs in for the Titans. She'll be playing on the near side of the field. Nifty little move, move there. there. Get into Kennedy in the box. Sullivan. Tries to have a shot, but it's blocked. That one will go out on the near side of the field. Throw in Titans. Here's Claire Macklin opening up into the middle. Good nice little ball. give there. Could have a shot here. Want the extra pass. Love to see it. Good cross, but it's into the hands of Love. Nice little save there from Yeah, good Mara save by the Titans there. Working the ball around, finding a good option. Yep. Excellent to see the unselfish extra pass. Get your best shot. There's the Antlers look to get a run here going, unable to quite get there on the far side of the pitch. Throw in Titans. And it'll get taken away by the Antlers. Now the Antlers have, throughout this game, done an excellent job of, I mean, getting possession and working it on the side, but they're just unable to, you know, get that last uh, surge to get, get it near the box. They've done it a couple times, but the Titans' uh, defensive uh, back side has done an excellent job of just kind of breaking things up and getting possession back in, into their feet. 
Yeah, the Antlers really haven't had many real threats so far in this game. No real shots on goal. They had about, I think they had one uh, cross early in the game. Just couldn't get numbers in the box. Um, but you never know. It, things can happen. Two, two score game, nearing on halftime. Anything can happen. This, I believe that's Bailey was working that one there. Sullivan's gonna keep it. Can got it here. She'll send it over to the left wing. That Keto, I believe. Maybe. I think that's Madsen over there now. All right. She plays everywhere. Yeah. Claire's got it. She's got got some numbers here. Wasser just unable to. A good ball. To Wasser maintain possession. Right touch. Rowan here for the Antlers on the far side. Three minutes left to play in this first half. Get that one up there to ooh, a nice little kick there. A little bit of a header action it looks like as uh, I believe that's uh, Reese Chard, Reese Chard number 19 for the Antlers, working there in the middle. Nice little run there by 22, Olivia Thompson, keeping it going. Good one. Too there, there we go. The Antlers. Looks like they might look to cro a nice little settle there. There's a crosser. But you just see the compactness of the Titans as they, the discipline to get back on defense. Everyone is back. Yeah. Just so quickly. They just move as a unit. Yep. As, And when they win it back, then they're up. So here's Klein. Here's a nice little She's run got here. got Kenny Sullivan to work with. They don't have numbers, but they're still got, they still got the Left momentum going. Left up the field. That's Rosalind Madsen. She'll get there. Able to get the rest of the Titans back to the side of the field. That, that's Madsen working on the far side, I believe. Yeah, that far side of this uh, Antlers uh, attacking front has shown some uh, burst uh, ability to break one out. Yeah, but you see the separation between the front three for the Antlers and the rest of the team. I mean, they've got one midfielder there, but the rest of the team... It's just playing back. Has to do a, a better job of getting up to help the front three. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to score when it's three on eight. Yeah. Back to Tidball. Yeah, Antlers just looking to keep this one 2 0 going into halftime. They can break one out, get a score. Can't be feeling too bad about 2 0, especially when they're, they came earlier in this first half. Still giving himself a chance. Yeah, but I'm sure um, Coach Tolero will be telling his girls at half, um, you can't get comfortable with a 2-0 lead. It is it's extremely dangerous having a 2-0 oh, lead sure. because it seems like it seems like a lot, and then you get lax, and then teams go you on get a little scored runs. on, yep. and suddenly it's it's a one-score game. Yeah. So they'll have to keep the pressure on as miscommunication there. Throw in there for uh, the Antlers. Looks like they're going to get it to. I believe. As we get 20 seconds here until halftime. That'll be a throw in. Yep. Antlers trying to push up in the last 10 seconds. Like she's gonna get any shot. Looks like both teams will be content here running out the clock. So Titans going to halftime with a 2-0 lead in this girls EMC championship. But don't go anywhere, because this game's not over.
Big thank you goes out to our NSTV broadcast sponsors, Gaina Trucking and Excavating, Norse Association of Educators, First State Bank, Homestead Convenience and Shrobro's Pizza, Impact Athletics, Renee Goodhart with Remax Concepts, Genesis Contracting, Scott Cohote with Mutual of Omaha, Perch Merch, Pro Performance Physical Therapy, Heidi Wubbles with Nebraska Realty, and U Stop. Also, special thanks goes out to Hausman Construction for being our scoreboard sponsor and to ProVision Chiropractic and Wellness for sponsoring our replays. If you're enjoying tonight's free broadcast, please consider donating to us through our PayPal account. Links to know it can be found in the description of our videos or by visiting our website at norse160.org slash nsdv. Donors will be mentioned in our future broadcasts. Donors of $25 or more will receive a free NSDV t-shirt. A big thank you goes out to Harry and Janine Severson, Chad and Jan January Otto, Chelsea Hood Reese, Merle Jobman, Patricia Severson, Price's Tree Farm, Cortland, Nebraska, Barb and Bryce Bensinger, Shelley Stolspart, Valerie Hostetler, Vicki and Cliff Obink, Gina Bo, Rhonda Burbach, Nate Johnson, Jill Burkett with In Style Blinds for their donation to our NSDV program. Tag us at NSDV video with a tweet or post on Instagram of a photo of yourself watching our live stream to be entered to win a free NSDV t-shirt. More action coming up here in about seven minutes.
Welcome back here to Titan Stadium. Here start some second half action of the EMC Championship game here. Nice beautiful Friday night. Excellent excellent action here in the first half. Norris got out to a 2-0 lead uh, with two Kennedy Sullivan goals to start out the first half. The first goal was scored around 33 minutes left in the opening half, so about 17 minutes in. And then her second goal came off of a beautiful assist from Grace Kohler from midfield, and that was about 18 minutes, 30 seconds left in the first half. Uh, Hard-fought game both sides. Uh, Elkhorn looked for some more runs there towards the end of the first half. Um, both teams doing an excellent job. Uh, interested to see how both coaches adjust as second half play gets underway. The Antlers are getting out hot here. Looks like 22. I believe that is Olivia Thompson getting it out. It'll be a tight and throw in on the far side of the pitch. Now the Antlers are getting out to a hot start here, looking to get some action as the Titans are called for a foul around the looks like the 15 yard line on the far side of the pitch. Um, the Antlers have a free kick here. Looks like that was number nine. Olivia Bailey, as Izzy is able, Izzy Tidball is able to scoop that one up, save the goal. She'll get one out here on a nice, nice little punt. Looks like the Antlers get it out to their attacking. The Titans will swing it back to Izzy as she gets it back out. AR on the far side of the pitch will call Titan throw in. It'll get here to the antler back line. They'll try to get it over. Intercepted by Ella Klein for the Titans. And she'll look to take some space. And the crosser does not get through. Taken over by Thompson, I believe. As Macklin is able to crawl it back. Get to the far side of the field. I believe that's Rosalind Madsen there. Working it across there to Kenny Sullivan. Two goals on the night. Maybe she's looking for a hat trick here. As she sends it. Ooh, what a save by the goalie, Mara Love. Excellent play. Nice shot there for Kenny Sullivan. Better block there for Mara Love. Able to get that one out of the goal. Titans will have a corner kick here. Looks like Grace Kohler will be taking this one. Yeah, Grace Kohler does take on the right side of the field. She takes those corner kicks, able to use her left foot. And then Macklin does tend to take the ones on the on the left side where she can use her right foot. She'll send it in. Antlers do an excellent job getting it out of the box. Some physical action there. No call by the ref. Fair play. Looking to send it across. Sullivan unable to get to the back side of the goal. Still a great look for the Titans. Looks like that might have been Macklin or Nicole Keetle unable to connect on that. There's the boot out. 
There's Thompson looking for a run. She's got some space. She'll send it over to can't see it, number 13, unable to quite get it. Ooh, nice look there for the antlers, just a little bit high. Might have been uh, Adriana Pagan there, a little bit high, unable to get it. But the Anglers have been making some nice runs here early, keeping the pressure on the Titans. Antlers definitely made some halftime adjustments here. Able to keep some pressure on the Titans. As Budecki is able to fight for the ball here. There's Sullivan here on the near side. She's going to reverse it back. Get to Kohler. And she'll send it over to, looks like maybe Khan. It'll be a tight and throw in for Ella Klein near midfield. The Anglers will send it right back out of bounds. So that's number 10. I don't have a number 10 on this roster, so I can't quite see who that is. There's Macklin on the far side. It's going to go back to Madsen. And we'll send it back. Trying to get to Macklin, able to convert it. Nice little shot there. And Tidball is able to curl out that one in for the save. Looks like 22. We'll look at Thompson there with the kick from about 30 yards out. About There's Sullivan in the middle of the field. She'll send it up. Try to get to Keetle. Looks like, looks like a handball there. Be a free kick for the antlers. The antlers send it forward. Thompson in the middle of the field looking to make something happen. She'll send it up. Can't quite see who that is and it'll go out. Looks like it'll be a Corner kick for the Antlers. Looks like their second of the night from the northwest side of Titan Stadium. She'll send it up. And just a bit to the right, unable to convert. Be another goal kick for the Titans. As we got some substitutions here. Try to get a number here. Number 29, Haley McMurray is in for the Titans. That one will go off of Ella Klein. Antler throw in. A little bit of a meg there through the legs of Wallstrom. Nice work there by Klein to get the ball back and send it up. No one from the Titans on the far side. Looks like, can't see who that is screaming across the field, but she got there. Holy cow. Still be a throw in for the Antlers, but nice wheels there. I can't, can't get the number. Nicole Keel, thank you. I might need some help seeing these numbers. Antler throw in here. It's been some fair action from both sides. The Antlers have have had some good looks starting out the second half. Couple couple of excellent looks actually a corner kick one that went just high um, excellent
excellent halftime adjustments as they're going to get going here quick. They think they have momentum, get the pace up. And the Titans are calling their heels. They will have the throw in here. Macklin, looks like Macklin sending a crosser. What a play by the goalie, Love. Holy, cr holy cow, that was awesome. Nice little slide kick, Cat, uh, get that one out of the goal. Beautiful play, and they've got a run going here. Looks like Tidball will get off her line and scoop that one up. Over to Kohler, looking to push some pace here, get it up the field. Key will send it up. And as John Paul mentioned earlier in the broadcast, these balls like to go on this turf. A little bit older turf. I think it's about it's between 8 or 10 years old. So it's getting up there in age. And it's hard. Still pretty good condition. Um, but balls do not stop here. They keep rolling. It might be a little bit of a tough adjustment for most teams. I know a lot of Elkhorn schools, they've got a lot of that nice turf where it stands up and nice plush. Um, this turf just won't quite stop the ball as much as schools with newer turf. So it's just a little bit of an adjustment, but not too difficult. Thompson with the ball here, looking to get it up to Pagan. And Rogers has got it now in the middle of the field, I believe. Looks like Tweeten with the ball here. Ran into three Elkhorn defenders. Still maintaining possession. Nice footwork here by Tweeten. As Meehan falls there. Antler's able to get one going. Looking for a run here. Excellent scoop by Tidball. Tidball, an excellent goalkeeper for the Titans. Only a sophomore. Just fundam fundamentally sound. Not too many mistakes on her part. She's been in high pressure moments, played in the state championship a year ago. Plenty of excellent saves. Um, she knows what she's doing back there. She's an excellent, excellent player, excellent competitor for the Titans. Wallstrom will send it out to Klein on the near side of the pitch. Number 10 for the Antlers will just kick that one out of bounds. Corner kick for the Titans here. Looks like Macklin will take this one from the left side. 27 left to go in this game here as the Titans look to add on to their 2-0 lead. Macklin with the kick. What a kick there. And I can't see who that is. What a... Looks like Tolero with the goal from the Titans. Make it 3-0. Set up by the Macklin cross on the corner kick. Looks like the ball kind of just caromed out of the goal. Tolera was standing right there, able to connect. Tie and strike with 26.51 left to go in this game. Extending the lead to 3 nothing. Go right out of bounds. Get it back for the Titans. Haley Murray working it up to 
Tolero. As the Antlers maintain possession here, working their side of the field. As Rogers looks up. Scrappy Titan defense here. Just making it extremely difficult for the Antlers to get anything to go for them here. Looks like the ball is chipped up. Klein sends it back up towards the middle of the field. Nice little work there on defense. Ref's going to call a foul here on Carly Wallstrom. We'll set up a free kick for the Antlers about 35 yards out from the goal. See if the Antlers can put this one in the mix and get something to happen. What a kick. Hit ball getting this one out quick. Seeing numbers. Looking to get some momentum going. Is that Macklin there? There's some speed. Unable to get to it. Excellent defense there by the backside for the Antlers. Still time throwing. Crossing over to Budecki. She'll make a miss. Nifty move. Over to number one for the Antlers, Rogers. Some physical play there. Oh, looks like the ref might hand one out here, and it looks like she he will do so. There's a yellow, yellow card. Get out of here. Looks like that's number one, Rogers. Physical play there on the. Titan baseline. That will be the first red or yellow card of the night. Not that they happen too often, anyways. Sullivan will. That one will go out. Sullivan throw in antlers. Unable to keep that one in via uh, AR on the near side. Calls it tight and throw in. As Miller checks in for the Titans, looks like L. Klein will take a rest here with 23 35 about here left in the game. Throw in for the Antlers. Get it into White Seat. Reagan Chard was able to stop that one there on the defensive side for the Antlers. Looking to get one in cross. Looking to send one here, maybe. Just unable to connect just over the goal. Second one of the night that's been over the goal here. Um, Antlers definitely getting some more looks here in the second half. Just unable to connect still. Looks like I believe that's Keetle maybe. Get it up to Macklin. She's going to look to get one out. Nice little save there by the goalie, Love. What a play. Nice to see the replay here. And 
there she is yep nice little save there excellent technique nice play not that I know any soccer but I try Sullivan with the throw in it'll go off of Macklin's foot for the antler throw in antlers will look to substitute here Rogers coming back in for the Antlers. It looks like Titans make a run there. Macklin able to draw the corner kick. Left side. Last corner kick was a score for the Titans. Hoping to do the same here, it looks like, for them. Halfway here through the second half. Macklin will send it. What a look. Unable to convert. Titans will maintain throwing, looking to get it out quick, and they do so. Antler's still working hard to maintain some possession, get it back here, and look for a run. They'll send it out to Budecki. Not quite able to get there. It'll be a goal kick for the Titans. Tidball just getting it out to Kohler. A little dangerous there, but no worries for the Titans. We are back. We got John Paul Brewer back in the booth. He was gone for about 21 minutes there. Um, yeah, extended bathroom break. Glad to see you back in the booth. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Oh, come on, Kaylee. Oh, Kaylee Miller. Into the Looking box. Looking to get it. And, ooh, she <laughs> might draw a corner kick here. Corner kick here for the Titans. Good win there from Kaylee. So, this will be, John Paul, you've missed it. You've been gone for 20 minutes. Uh, this is the third corner kick from this side of the field for the Titans. Oh. What a play by the goalie. Man, she's been making some excellent plays. Maybe a little shaken up after that one. Claire Macklin going for the Olympico goal. Yep, she's got her fourth goal kick of this half right here. Sends that one in the middle. Header. In the mix, unable to connect. This one will go back out. Antlers looking to run. Titans will swing it back to Khan. Never mind. Looks like a free kick. It's all over the place. I'm so glad you're back, John Paul. I just, I mean, I know soccer somewhat, but you're the man. Thanks. Kohler wins the free kick. Yeah, after the collision. Man, I thought you left. That's all right, though. We're back. We got some action going. Had to get a hot dog from the booth. And these antlers this half, they did get out to a nice start to start out the half. I mean, they've had a couple excellent looks just missing high. Um, they were able to get a couple corner kicks, at least one of I know of. Handball there. Yep, as Thompson is called for the handball. She's upset. 
Yep, just unfortunate. Looks like her arm just caught one there. Wasn't quite in the resting position, her arm was up in the air, so ref had to call that one. As Kohler will go with the boot, send it out there. Nice little header there from the antlers. Uh, you also did miss a, a yellow card. Um, action has picked up. Uh, it's been a little bit more physical this half. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Fans are getting into this one, so it's always good. That's exciting. Love when the parents get into it. Yep, we've had a... It's been a good show out here. Um, excellent fan support Mackin. both sides. Some students here. I know we got some students up here in the booth that have been making some noise, making a ruckus every once in a while. Better try to put it in the box. Looks like they're going to get another corner kick. Literally it's going to be the anything. fifth one of this half as we got 16 minutes left in this ball game. Looks like we'll get more subs here for the Titans. Um, Ella Klein and Dana Kapke coming yep. on for Kaylee Miller and Tessa Tolero. Yep, and Tolero, did s she did score a goal off a corner kick. I think it was about 26 left in this game, maybe a little bit more. Um, Macklin's going to go Blair for with one. The volley. And they're going to draw another corner kick. Man. Volley there by Claire Macklin. She's got to be a little tired. That's her fifth corner kick at this point. I mean, you probably don't get too tired from corner kicks, but still, still quite a bit. That one's punched out. Love is down. And she's back. But it's cleared off the goal line. Antlers defense. Doing their job, getting the ball back out. Titans just keeping the pressure on at this point. They're Sullivan in the box, looking to work. And Claire Macklin will one. go. And Sullivan's going to try to oh, follow, good clear by unable Kamala. to. What a nice little sequence there. Now, John Paul, you're going to have to tell me what happened here. Looks like the ref's going to call. Calls a foul on uh, Kennedy Sullivan. On Sullivan. For running into the uh, goalkeeper. Yep, that sounds like a... A fair foul to call there. You got to protect our goalkeepers. Got to go out for an antlers throwing. Fighting for it on the far side of the field. Another antlers throw. This one's won by Carly Wallstrom. Taking some space in the middle of the field here. Splits the defenders to find Macklin. Good pass over to Dana, and that's a good through ball. What a through ball. Just a little too hard, though. There's there's that turf you're talking about there. Just a little bit fast. Yep. Got to wait it. Good look, though, from the Titans. You know, I don't know if it's all turf, but you make an excellent point talking about that. It is different just being out there compared to most fields. Heedle comes on for Kennedy Sullivan. Yep. She'll be playing, looks like left wing. Oh, looks like left back. Titans look to continue the shutout as we approach 13 minutes left here in this game. Antlers working the far side of the pitch. Good possession here. Get it up to Rogers, and she'll get it over to Budeke. Budeke. Nice one two there. Oh yeah. Kohler will just get that one out to Macklin. A little touch there. Titans will get the throw in, looking to play some momentum. Oh, well, let's uh, do it quick. Keep the. Another throw. Keep the pace up. Just unable to. Oh. Ref's going to call a handball on Keel. It's a fair call. It's going to be a free kick for the Antlers. Might be number six, maybe. 
that is number six. Emily Frayne, a defensive back. Is that the correct position term? No, that's football, Blake. That's my bad. Could you correct me? Center back. Center back. Thank you. Big football guy, Blake. You know that. I'm trying. I'm really trying. You're doing a great job. Hey, we'll keep it up, oh, though. Oh, Ella Klein, she wants it. Here's Klein going. Breaking through the back line. That'll be a throw-in for the Titans. They're going to go quick here. Keto wants some pace here. And she'll throw it in to Macklin. Good turn by Grace Kohler. They'll play this one all the way back to Tidball. Khan's able to reset here. Going to kick it up to Tidball. They'll reset and play it all the back here. Sometimes it's smart to do such a thing, right? Rosalind Madsen near the center to Ella Klein. She wants to play one up. She'll get a handball. Yep. Seeing a multitude of handballs here in this half. I believe that's three or four compared to zero in the first half, I believe. And Grace Kohler will send this one in. Yes, she will. Zero win. Looking to get one out, and she does. That'll be off Haley McMurray for an antlers throw. Pagan with the throw in to Rogers. Rogers fighting for the ball. It'll be Thompson that gets it back to Pagan, and she'll send it up. Unable. Antlers unable to make a run there. Um, Tidball will corral that. Looking to waste a little bit of time here as she sends it back to midfield yeah, 10 and beyond. Left to play. And the Titans will just uh, take as much time as they yep. can eat that clock up. Yep, don't want to risk too much. They just want to get out of here at this point. Played an excellent game. Likewise with the Antlers. And. Ooh. The ref's going to pull the card out. Don't know if I agree with that one. I mean, she made an attempt on the ball, but caught the leg. Yep, legs, ref thought legs it was tangled up. Uh, I don't know who that was on. Um, Looks like uh, Carly Wallstrom. So she'll take a break. Yep. Yep, that is Carly Wallstrom. Um, and dangerous free kick position here for yep. the Antlers. Really gives the Antlers a nice look here to get, to put one in the back of the net. Right Excellent. Some the of box. the best position they can get today. They did have a corner kick, but... Looks like she wants to put this one on frame. Yep. 25 yards out. And she will do so. That'll Just a little bit wide. She attempted. Gotta see who that was. Good nice ball there from Klein. Nice through ball. Is that what you call it? Through ball? Yeah. That'll be out for a corner. Yep. Corner kick for the Titans here. Titans juiced up. It's about the sixth one here of the half. Yeah, great one touch pass there from Ella Klein. Titans able to make quite a few more runs uh, this half. Contrary to how the half started with the Antlers pushing and dictating the tempo and pace of the game, um, Titans have bounced back and been able to keep the ball on the Antlers side of the field for a majority of this half. That will be sent in. And that's in there. Yep. 
and Kennedy Sullivan completes her hat trick. Just bounced around the box. She wanted it more, and she put it in the back of the net. Yeah, excellent play. Corner kick sets up nicely for the Titans. Bouncing around, and Sullivan's able to just put that one in the towards the edge of the goal. I believe that's a um, perfect hat trick from Kenny Sullivan. One with her left foot, one with her right, and one with her head. Yeah, that's excellent. Great call out, yeah, John Paul. Putting on a show in the uh, in the big stage. Yep. He's gonna heat up the rest of the season. Yep. Tid ball. We'll scoop that one up. Seven minutes left to play. Just send that one off the field. Yeah, with seven minutes left to go in oh, this game. Good cut by Tweeten. Just kind of looking ahead here for the Titans' schedule. Um, they are in one right now. As we said, that one lost to Pius. Um, they yeah. will, with the win tonight, will advance to nine and one. They are scheduled to play Blair, I believe, next Monday, the 15th. That will be, should be a pretty good game. Uh, I know Blair did lose to Elkhorn. Uh, Their only loss. Yep. Blair, 9-1, and one, I believe, on the year. Um, that should be a fun game. Uh, yeah, and then af sure after that one, they've got, looks like, four games until the end of the year. So the season will be wrapping up fairly shortly. Um, they will round out the season at, Cre at Lincoln Lutheran High School. At ooh, Lincoln Lutheran, can't see that one. Must be some new school. And then Elkhorn North. Elkhorn North to round up the season on April 23rd. And they'll head into sub-districts. Play two games there, assuming they win, and district final. And they'll try to get back to state for the fourth year in a row. On the Elkhorn side, yep. they also have to face Blair. So they'll try to – oh, good drive here. Looking here. They might be in. Yep. And then they're going to the do net. it. Yeah, number 13. Yes. Goal for the Antlers, number 13, Lauren Budecki. Able to convert there on the run. Yeah, Tid ball gets off the line. Just chops it right over her leg. Yep. In the back of the net, and it's 1-4. With all else that the Knights turned out, it's good to get one on the board for the Antlers. Yep. Get something going for you guys into the next game. Um, speaking of the Antlers, they were they are nine and three at this point of the year. Um, I believe their three losses are to Bennington, Norris, and Norfolk in Class A. Um, their next game is on April 19th. Don't know what day that is. Uh, it sounds like a Thursday night, if I believe, or a Friday night. It might be next Friday night. And that will be at Platte View. Um, so that w that should be a fairly good game. Uh, Platte View looks like they're 7-3, and three, and then they do play Blair um, the 23rd of April at Blair. Um, so that will be another nice rematch for the Antlers. And then they will round off their season on April 25th against Lincoln Northwest. So with this EMC tournament kind of wind, winding down here, uh, these teams kind of entered to what some of us call the second season. You know, you've gone through the first part, the dog days of the season. Now you kind of 
get into the home stretch, you got to finish strong because districts, that's when it really starts to matter with sub districts and districts because, I mean, you could go undefeated all year. You lose that districts and you're done. So. Yep, and that's what happened to uh, the Green Island Northwest Vikings last year. They were the number one seed in the state, undefeated, got upset in the district final by the 16 seed Omaha Gross. They missed out on the state tournament. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, season's excellent. You can put yourself in an excellent spot for a good district matchup. Um, but it really only matters once you get to districts, what happens from there. And then obviously state from there on out. Yeah, Elkhorn will have to try to fight these last couple of games. If they can beat Blair again, that'll be good points to get them. They're sitting around, uh, I believe, six or seven. I think they're six right now. Yep. So they're trying to. They should host put themselves in final. some good position to host, given a couple wins here to finish oh, up the year. The Looking to get oh, one outside up. of the boot pass, over to Keetle. Keetle. Yep. She sends it back in. That's a little crosser, and Love will scoop that one up. Runs good. into her own teammate. But still a nice play there. I mean, yeah, good I feel creativity like from Elkhorn. Mara Love has had a, a fairly good game back. She's had a lot of action back there. I know she's let four get past her, but, I mean, she's still had quite a few saves on this night. Uh, looks like they're going to want to call time stoppage here for substitution. It appears. Yep. Look to get some subs in for these last two minutes. Is that tweeting looking to fight for that one? Love to see these two teams just still playing hard, even though there's only two minutes left in this game. You know, you could give up at this point, but both of these teams still fighting hard, looking to get that one extra goal. Excellent contest here tonight. Yeah, a lot of goals, a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah, it's been an eventful night. Boys EMC Championship, you were here for that one. Um... Then obviously the girls championship tonight. It's always a privilege to host some fellow EMC conference schools. Yep. So the Badgers boys team they repeat or three peated for for the boys. Three peat you said? EMC Championship, yeah, and the girls will be a Titans. This will four be a four feet, feet, I believe. Yep, just dominating. So this senior class will finish out their high school career with four EMC championships. Yep. And looking to make a run at state. Runner up the last three years, losing to Scott Catholic. Um, yeah, and this year it might be a different. Uh, Oh, they might face Grant in the East, we talked about earlier. Yep. But we're excited to see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, I think Scott is sitting around like a nine seed right now. They've lost a couple games. Really? But I'm sure they'll turn it up at state. I'm sure they, they will. They always do. Yep. They're always ready to play. Wow. Ooh, Keto gets shoved. That was. Looks like he's going to talk Last to her. Of the game. And the game's over. That'll wrap it up. Titans are your girls EMC champions again. Yeah, congratulations to the Titans. And also congratulations to the Elkhorn Antlers on a hard-fought game. EMC runners-up in a tough league, too. Excellent match. Nothing to hang your head about. Two excellent programs here in Class B for girls high school soccer. Both teams that should be making runs at state. Um, yep. I think we'll see both these teams at oh, state. Oh, for sure. Given they take care of business in districts. Um, yeah, JP, what'd you, uh, 
any final thoughts on the game tonight uh, before we wrap it up? I think player of the match definitely goes to Kenny Sullivan with the hat trick. I mean, she just played great. Grace Kohler with an amazing Soccer assist. Fans, please direct your attention to midfield. Yep. I mean, congratulations to both to teams. On a hard-fought Ant Eastern Midlands hard Conference game, Championship as soccer I match. Just unable to connect at some points. Titans, excellent defense and made those crucial runs the to Eastern get them on Midlands the board early. Conference runner-up black that lead out. is presented to Elkhorn High School. Yeah, hard -fought game. Please come to midfield night. to accept your plaque. Uh, congratulations, congratulations on a great conference to tournament to and best of luck the course. rest of the season. The Eastern Midlands Conference Championship plaque uh, is presented to Norris High School. Please come forward to accept your championship plaque. Congratulations on your Eastern Midlands Conference Tournament Championship and best of luck the rest of the season. Parents and supporters for both teams, you are welcome to come down.